Today I want to show you how you can use Google Slides to have your students create an online journal that can easily be shared with you. So in essence, you're going paperless with your journal. Over here on the right, where the arrow or a cursor is moving around, um, that is the teacher. That would be me. And over on the left, over here, is the student where my cursor is moving around. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you want to do is simply have your students create a blank Google Slides presentation. Click on that. And easier if you have them, it's, it's much easier if you have them title their presentation um, using their last name so you can find it easier. So let's title it, um, in this case, let's just call it Mosley Journal English uh, 1. So let me click down here. We'll go Mosley Journal English, if I can type, English 1. And if you want them to put anything underneath, that's totally up to you. So let's go ahead and have our students do the first entry. So today you're going to have them write on something. Now, first of all, at the very top, you may want to have them put the date. So today, let's say, is August 20th. 20th. And then if you have them record the topic, they can record the topic in the box. So let's say, for example, you want them to write on this question. Let's just simply say, who are you? And then they simply answer the question. Okay, so that would be their first entry for August 20th. Now what they need to do, the students on this end, is share it with you, the teacher. So they're going to click the share button. And let's say I'm the teacher, so I will give them my name. They're going to click on me and send. So now the students have got their journal ready to go, and they're going to share it with the teacher. Now, if you'll notice over here on the right, in the shared with me area, I now have that student's journal. So I can open it up. It's been shared with me. And I can check out and see what they've written once it opens up. There we go, a little slow today. And so I can see what they've written. Now you'll notice the little half circles down here indicate that the student here is still on and using Google Slides, as in this is the student side over here. They'll see that their teacher is looking at their Google Slides. So now that you've got it, what you can do is simply organize your files which is really easy to do. So first thing you want to do, now the student has shared it with you, you want to add it to your drive. So you're going to click Add to my drive. And now it's in your drive for you to do how you see fit. So let's go back to my drive. And again, this is for the purposes of organizing. So we want to organize our class. So now we've got all of our period one um, journals, they're all shared with us, and they're all in our drive. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to open up the teacher window a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on there. Let's go to Recent. And if we go to Recent, you'll see here's Mosley Journal. This is our first student. And what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and open that up. Again, we're a little slow. Now you can either open it. And there's two options to, to move it to a folder. You can open it and click File, and you can move it to a file, or you can simply just two finger tap on it and on your device and it'll prompt you to move it. Now before we move it though, we need to create a place to move it to. So let's click on the add new in our drive. We're going to create a folder and let's just title this English class journals period one. Create. 
So now we've got a folder where our period one journals will be and it's easier to find. So let's go ahead and move this there. So I'm going to two finger tap there and click on move to. And again, we simply want to move it to that file uh, folder so we can find them much easier. So it's on my drive. Very slow. And we're going to find that folder, English class journals. We're going to move it there. Click on move. There we go. So let's go and take a look at it. So we go to my drive and English class journals, and we should have Mosley's journal in there. And there it is. So let's say day two rolls around and you ask the students to open up their Chromebooks and here's another topic. So let's say, let's jump into the future and it's the 21st and you say, you ask the kids, why is there air? Yeah. And the student just types because Now, when you go back and you open their journal, again, on the right side is my screen. Let's open it up bigger. Again, really slow, got it. And we go to my drive, extremely slow. And then you click into English class journals. We're going to open up Mr. Mosley's journal to make sure he's done the assignment. Again, really slow. And you'll see there their new journal entry, and you'll see the student is still logged in. Um, and again, totally paperless. Now, another thing you can do as the teacher, let's say you're gonna comment, or you would like to comment on your stu student journals. You simply go up to the top, open comment history, you click on that, and you'll either see all the comments that have been made, or you can make a new comment. So you click on comment, and go, um, let's say, good job. So now when you take a look at the student side, the comment will show up on the student side. Let's open that up bigger. And the student side, it shows the comment. Good job. So it'll show all the comments here on the right side. Okay, so again, a very easy way to have your students use Google Slides as a journal and allowing you to comment on them as well without involving notebooks, paper, passing things forward, passing things back and such. Okay, hope you find that useful. Thank you for watching.